Yeah, good evening, dear students. Welcome to the today's session. Now, welcome to the ACE online. It is powered by the ACE Engineering Academy. Okay, fine. First, today we are discussing. Okay, my myself is Gyanishwar. Now, today we are discussing about the TSPSC, Telangana State Public Service Commission. Now, yes, TSPSC Electrical Branch, Electrical Branch. Now, Polytechnic Lecturer, dear. Polytechnic Lecturer, Government Job. Okay, fine. Uh, the topic is Important Concept and Questions, dear. Important Concepts and Questions. Subject name is Control System, dear. Control System, wow, nice. Polytechnic Lecturer, it is a government job. It is a government job, Telangana Public, Public Service Commission. Okay, first starting, motivation point of view, one minute. Now, you know, after COVID, the importance of the government job here. Okay, because of Corona, so many private jobs, so many employees are, okay, they are facing a lot of problems here. So for that, you have the beautiful opportunity for you people, Polytechnic Lecturer, government job. First thing, it is a government job. For that, I am showing the one motivation video here. One motivation video. Yes. If the path is beautiful, ask where it leads to. If the path is beautiful, ask where it leads to. Now, if, but if the destination is beautiful, never mind the path, dear. Now, your destination is government job. Your destination is government job. First, teaching is a noble profession, dear. As compared to all professions, it is a beautiful, okay, professional. Now, your destination is a government job. Government job as a teacher, polytechnic teacher, never mind the path, dear. While preparing, you'll face so many difficulties, but Never stop your reading, okay, keep walking. Keep walking means prepare, prepare, prepare. Now up to exam, dear. This is a motivation, with that motivation, I'm starting the topic, dear. So first of all, what is the syllabus for the Polytechnic Lecturer? Control system, the syllabus. Okay, dear, yes. Syllabus for the control system, dear. Now coming to the syllabus, yes. From the control system, first thing, it is a easy subject, interesting subject, and the scoring subject, first thing, scoring subject here. Scoring, scoring subject. Now, okay, dear, coming to the syllabus here, observe. What is the syllabus? Wow. Yeah, all chapters I have mentioned, simplified. Whatever they given the TSPSC, I have written like chapter-wise, dear. Chapter-wise, they are given, okay? Now, basics of control system. If you go for any job, okay, basics of control system. Now, next chapter, block diagrams, signal flow graph. Time response analysis here. Now, time response analysis, Rauth Arvid stability method. Stability start from here onwards. Next to root locus, dear. Yes. Here, uh, Bode plot, Nyquist plot, compensator, last chapter is state space analysis. Total given TSPSC syllabus I have classified into 10 chapters, dear, for easy okay, point of view. Now, let us we'll discuss one by one, dear. Now, clearly we'll discuss one by one. Let us here observe, these are the stability method 5, but these two, chapter 5 and chapter 6 here, these two are called as a time domain approach, dear, time domain methods. There is a question here, time domain methods. Where about Bode plot, Polar plot, Nyquist plot, sir, comes under frequency domain, dear. The graph with respect to omega, the graph with respect to omega, hence these two are called as a frequency methods, frequency domain methods, dear. RH method root locus comes under the time domain. Previously, the questions were asked here, which of the following is a time domain approach, which of the following is not a frequency approach, like that the questions were framed here. Now, these two are time domain, these two are frequency domain, but these four comes under, polar plot also comes under frequency domain only. Polar Nyquist, Nyquist is the extension of polar plot here. So, okay, fine, one by one we'll discuss. Uh, in detail, we'll discuss from the chapter, each chapter here. Coming to the Polytechnic Lecture, government job. Okay, fine. Yes, basics of control system. From the basics of control system, already you know. Yes. Starting with the transfer function, dear. Transfer function. First one. Yes. Transfer function. That is the Laplace transform of first thing, output upon Laplace transform of input, dear. Laplace transform output upon Laplace transform of input. All initial conditions are assumed to be zero. You know, very, okay? And also one more formula for this one, Laplace transform of impulse response, dear. 
This is a formula for the transfer function. This is a formula for the transfer function here. Next to coming to next one, in the chapter, what we can expect here? After the trans function, they may ask the DC gained here. DC, DC means frequency 0. Frequency 0 means omega 0, F equal to 0. That is a simply for DC gain, simply substitute in the given trans function. Okay, in trans function, substitute in trans function, omega equal to 0 here. Simple S equal to J omega, na? Okay, wherever the S is there, simply that is nothing but Yes, S equal to 0, simple S equal to 0 means. Whatever the given trans function, substitute S equal to 0 to find the DC gain here. To find the DC gain, this thing you can expect from the basis of control system. And also they may ask, now they may ask the question from the trans function. Again, what is the control system definition here? Control system, you will get, we'll get the desired output here in the control system. Now, yes, we get the desired output. Again, control system mainly classified into two types, open loop, closed loop here. What are the major difference between the open loop and closed loop here? Difference between the open loop system and closed loop system. So first thing, open loop system, closed loop system difference, basic difference here. Now, oh, okay, fine. Here and uh, after okay, comparison of open loop system and closed loop system, now I have select, shortly I am going to show, okay, one PPT, one question is there. The, from the comparison between comparison between open loop system and closed loop system. Open loop and closed loop system, dear. That is a one more topic. Right. And also one more sensitivity topic, dear. Sensitivity. So I have selected one more question also at the time of question is there. Sensitivity related also. These are the topics you may expect in the TSPSC, Telangana State Public Service Commission. By seeing the previous paper, okay, this is the analysis. By seeing your previous paper of TSPSC, Polytechnic lecturer or other TSPSC prepared question papers from last pre previous papers. These are the topics they are concentrating here. Now, okay, we'll observe the questions one by one. Yes, some of the previous questions. Yeah, come on. Yes, with a negative feedback, the system stability and system gain respectively in bracket as compared to open loop. Negative feedback system. Negative feedback means a closed loop control system is comparing with open loop. So, which of the, with the negative feedback system, system gain and stability, both is asking. No doubt, dear, in the negative feedback system, why we are going to the closed loop system? Why we are going to the closed loop system? To improve the stability only, okay? In closed loop system, as compared to open loop system, in closed loop system, clearly given a negative feedback here. Negative feedback, no doubt, dear, uh, first point, stability increases, dear. Stability of the system increases in the negative feedback system. Stability of the system increases only, no doubt at all. Stability is increases. We'll see the option. Based upon the option, any eliminations are there, we'll check the options here. Wow. First one, stability. So stability increases. This is in the race. Stability increases. Decreases. Two are in the wrong option. But both are increases. Again, next to second one is system gain here. With respect to system gain here. Come on. I'm giving chance for you. Yes. Chart with me. Come on, tell me what happens in the closed loop control system, system gain. I'm checking your, yes, comments, come on, act. Yes, dear, actively participate so that your mind, brain will, okay, uh, yes, come on. Very good evening, dear. Yeah, dear, control system syllabus is almost all exams as same syllabus, dear. Bhushan Sai, you are actively participating here. Yes, stability improved and gain reduced. Excellent here, Bhushan Sai. And uh, Swapna also given option B. Yes, Swapna, you are right. I am checking, comment. Yes, you have to respond. Yes, dear, come on. Who is that? Open there. Decrease. What decrease, dear? You have to mention clarity. Open there. Giri Ramesh, option B. Okay. Yes, wow. Yes, Vijay Kumar, now. Durga, okay, yes. Majority people are given unique answer only. Now, okay, we'll check it here. We'll check it. First, stability is, uh, yeah, fine. Uh, now, coming to the stability, stability increases. But gain, what happens here? In open loop system, open loop gain. Open loop gain is what? G. Closed loop gain, tell me, negative feedback system. Closed loop system gain. 
g upon 1 plus g h. This we can write g by 1 as compared to, okay, this as compared to numerator, denominator part is more here. So this loop gain is less than 1 only. This is a less than 1 only, less than. As compared to numerator, denominator part is more only. So as compared to open loop, closed loop system gain is less only. So closed loop system is gain, closed loop gain is less, gain is less as compared to open loop. Less as compared to open loop. As compared to open loop, very good. These are the, okay, uh, TSPSC previous paper. So no doubt option B is correct answer here. Very good, I can appreciate now, yes. Similarly, we'll move to the one more question here, come on. Uh, yes. An open loop system is converted into closed loop system with a negative feedback. The feedback path as unity gain, H of S is one is given. Initially, the system is open loop system. It is converted into closed loop system. After converting into closed loop system, what happened? The question is, okay. Yes, as compared to the open loop system, the closed loop system has the following property. Out of four options, only one is correct answer. Remaining three are not correct answer. So check it, careful. Yes, overall gain is increased. Just now we were discussing uh, in the closed loop system, as compared to open loop system, closed loop system, uh, overall gain is reduces, wrong here. Okay, if we convert open loop to closed loop, open loop gain is what? Open loop gain just now I retain G. Closed loop gain is what? G upon 1 plus G H. As compared to open loop, closed loop gain is decreases, decreases, but is given increases. But decreases is correct, decreases, decreases dear. So it is not a property. Option A is wrong. One by one I am showing. Bandwidth is reduced. Bandwidth is reduced. Gain decreases means already we know property. Yes, come on. Otherwise, I'll show it first. Yes. Now, okay, uh, what is the correct suitable option? Come on, tell me. What is the correct suitable option? Yes. Bandwidth reduced. Effect of parameter variations, it's reduced. Disturbance rejection capacity is reduced here. Come on. Yes. Now, just to recall, I'm going to explain each and everything. Now, each and everyone, I'm going to explain each option. Yeah, fine, one by one here. One by one. Now, what happens? Any comments? Come on. It is a general question. Yes, dear. Now, okay, fine. What happened? What is the correct option here? Yes, I am waiting for your reply. Yes, fine. Here, I am going to explain. Okay, fine. Here, observed here. I think this answer. Yeah, yes. Now, we know gain bandwidth product is constant here. Gain bandwidth product is constant. We know. Gain bandwidth product is called constant. So gain bandwidth product constant means so already just now we have discussed here. Gain decreases. Gain decreases means bandwidth should increase here to maintain the constant. But given option is reduced. Reduced is wrong, dear. Reduced is wrong. Bandwidth should increase is correct answer. So you can make the note, okay, bandwidth should increase, but is given reduced wrong option. Next option will observe. Next option will observe here. Okay, what is the options here? Uh, let us. Yes. Now, option C, check it. Effect of parameter variation is reduced here. We'll go for the option D first. Disturbance rejection capacity is reduced. No. Disturbance rejection, if you convert open loop to closed loop, in the closed loop, disturbance rejection is increases here. Increases is correct answer. Option D, increases correct answer. Capacity increases. So option D also wrong answer. Effect of parameter variation is reduced here. Yes, correct. Why? Because here, now I'm going to up. Okay, explain this one. That is a related to the sensitivity here. This is sensitivity. Sensitive topic. Sensitivity for open loop system. Suffix here. Sensitivity for open loop system is 1 dear or 100 percentage. Very high. Sensitivity with respect to parameter variation. Any parameter changes, how much that will affect on the system? It is 100 percent will affect. Very okay, drawback. This is a drawback. But in the, we are going to the closed loop system. In the closed loop system here, 
sensitivity with respect to two parameters are there. Okay, with respect to G, which re with respect to H, dear. With respect to G, with respect to H. With respect to G, okay, uh, 1 by 1 plus GH, dear. 1 by 1 plus GH. 1 upon 1 plus GH. So, uh, okay, less than 1 only, less only. Again, with respect to H also, dear. With respect to H also, minus GH upon 1 plus GH, dear. It is also less than 1 only, dear. So, in the closed loop system, sensitivity with respect to parameter variation is less as compared to open loop. If you convert open loop to closed loop, sensitivity with respect to parameter variation reduces. That is the advantage only. That is the correct only. So, best suitable option is C is correct answer, dear. C is the perfect answer. Now, check it. So, you can make the notes also. In the open loop system, what happened in the open loop system? These three wrong options are the properties of open loop. Only C is a property of closed loop system. Okay, super. This is the basic topic we are discussing. We are discussing basic topic here. Now, next we will move to the one more question here. Unit feedback system has the following unit impulse response here. This is a unit impulse response is given. Yes. The open loop trans function of the system is dear. The open loop trans function is asking. These are the given options dear. Okay, these are the given option. Unit impulse response means who? Directly trans function we need to find. Trans function means by default we will get the closed loop trans function only. So unit impulse response means who? What I can write here? Okay, trans function equal to okay C of s by R of s. Unit impulse na? Impulse means who? This R of s is nothing but one. Laplace transform units, okay, unit impulse here. What is the question is given? Unit impulse here. Unit impulse R of s is what here? R of s of the unit impulse system is what? One only. So, one. What is the C of s? Laplace transform first one. One upon s plus one. E to the power of minus t. One upon s plus one. Because of minus sign minus. Because of t, you will get the s squared here. Then, plus two upon s plus one here. This is a trans function. Trans function by default, closed loop trans function only will get. Trans function means by default, closed loop trans function only will get. Now take the LCM here. After taking LCM here, what, what happens here? Now I am writing 2 upon s plus 1. Yes, 2 upon s plus 1. Now, okay, uh, take the LCM up here. Yeah, fine. s plus 1 all is square. So minus 1 plus 2 into s plus 1, 2s plus 2 dear. So, later what happens here, closed loop trans function equal to command respond, closed loop trans function equal to, now, okay, 2s plus 1 upon s plus 1 whole square, s plus 1 whole square means s square plus 2s plus, now 1 dear. So, examiner is asking open loop trans function. What is open loop trans function equal to? The formula is closed loop trans function upon 1 minus closed loop trans function dear. Okay, if you do this one, after simplification here, 2s plus 1 upon s square you will get here. If you use this formula just to simplify, then you will get the 2s plus 1 upon s square here. So, best suitable option is what? Best suitable option is what? 2s plus 1 by s square is correct answer. Option A is perfect answer. Perfect answer here. This type of model you can expect here. Okay, this type of model you can expect here. Now, okay, fine. This is a conversion formula solution. Now, okay, these questions you can expect in the uh, basics of control system. Next in the block diagrams. Block diagrams, there is a topic called block diagram reduction rules here. Block diagram reduction rules. And by using Marsden's gain formula, you can solve both block diagram as well as signal flow problems. We'll solve one block diagram reduction rules related numerical here. Okay, super. This is a block diagram. In the block diagram reduction rules here. This is a block diagram reduction rules problem. Now, what happens here? The equivalent block diagram shown in figure 1 is given as this is uh, okay for this corresponding what is a uh, okay equivalent to the given options here in the given option what is a uh, yes these are the options here these are the options so this is the same as this one which one so we need to shift the take up point here we need to shift the take up point here this take up point we have to shift to this side after the block shift the take up point after the block Shifting take a point after the block. Why? Because in the given option, shifted the after G2 here. If shift the after G2, what happens here? Now shifting, here I am writing the technique here. Shifting take a point. Shifting 
a take up point after block take up point before block means multiply before block after block okay now already we were discussing the nicely in the classroom yes before block after the block what happens here simple now okay dear either observe before block means multiply corresponding multiply i am going to explain now after the block means divide here but in the in the given question is shifting after the block after the block means compulsory division should be there division should be there division should be there but here multiplication is there h into g2 multiplication is there so wrong option here also uh, multiplication is the wrong option is shifting the take up point this one after the block after the block after shifting after this shifting the g1 g2 product here so g1 g2 you will get g1 g2 but is given option is only g1 g1 g2 no doubt option b option okay d is correct answer here after option d is correct answer here we'll check it here we'll check it here so is shifting after this one here after this one after this one is shifting so now i am shifting there i am shifting so yes fine so i am using same color white color okay this is shifting here while well, shifting you have to multiply with this 1 by g2 okay why because after shifting means yeah after shifting i am making this is a, yes this is removing now tell me dear this two are series series means g1 g2 product g1 g2 h by g2 g1 g2 h by g2 no doubt option d is perfect answer for this one basics required this one shifting a take up point before the block means multiply after the block means divide but in the given question is given after the block shifting so this is a question dear from the block diagram now okay fine next to yes one more question here you can expect this type of question multiple inputs dear here. here one input here one more input there are two inputs are given multiple inputs is asking with respect to only uh, transfer function the trans function now x2 by uh, y by output y by x2 here y by x2 means while finding with respect x2 this input by default we have to assume zero dear in the question paper is given x1 should be zero even though not mentioned we have to take the x1 should be zero now after uh, assuming okay x1 zero here observe this should be zero this is zero is given now from here to here forward path here input to output forward path dear y by x2 according to mawson's gain so 1 by s dear 1 by s forward path that is the forward path dear okay nicely after only we have the one forward path now tell me a uh, loop gain here uh, complete loop here from here to here complete loop is what this is a loop opposite side okay now this is a forward path upon 1 plus s by s plus 1 product of 1 by s dear so after solving no doubt it are you will get the s plus 1 simplify this one so s into s plus 2 dear so option d is perfect answer dear block diagram signal flow graph both we can solve by using only mawson's gain formula dear now i'll check it how many people yes yes correct dear yes some people already okay fine nice dear Yes, I am checking your answers here. Very good, very good, very good response. Now, similarly, okay, fine, nice. Here, next one, dear. Uh, next one, I am moving to the next question. Next, uh, this is a block diagram. Signal flow graph, dear. Next chapter is signal flow graph. In the signal flow graph, what happens here? The major thing is uh, in the signal flow graph, you may expect uh, this question is Mawson's gain formula. First of all, we have to respect the Mawson's gain formula. What is the Mawson's gain formula, sir? overall gain equal to overall gain equal to mawson's gain formula overall gain equal to in the mawson's gain now we are discussing important concepts important formula from each chapter come on respond along with me forward path gains forward path gains <coughs> okay sum of forward path gains upon 1 plus okay this is a uh, before that let us now yes according to mawson's gain formula here i am writing sigma 1 to k p suffix k delta suffix k dear upon delta 
what is a ke ke equal number of forward paths here in the chapter number of forward paths number of forward paths dear okay p suffix k is equal to kth forward path gain delta equal to what p suffix k equal to okay kth forward path delta equal to 1 minus sum of individual loop gains dear individual loop gains individual loop gains alternate minus next to plus sum of two non touching loop gains dear now next alternate minus sum of three non touching loops gains dear three non touching loop gains and so on now delta suffix k same as delta by removing the corresponding forward path the loops which are touching the corresponding forward path remove that one that is the delta suffix k we will observe in future okay now this is a mass sense gain formula okay nice sir yes you can expect the question now the signal flow graph shown in figure t2 equal x2 equal t into x1 where t is equal to yeah fine here i am finding first of all i am finding the trans function what is the trans function equal to here final output x2 by x1 equal to dear x2 equal x2 by x1 equal to from here to here forward path equal to how much 5 5 forward path is 5 only one loop is there one loop is there so one loop is there means one opposite sign of this one opposite sign we have to take the technical technique is opposite sign of this one here okay if you follow the masons gain only simple but simple this opposite sign here 1 minus 0.5 so you will get the 5 by 0.5 only 5 by 0.5 is nothing but 5 by 1 by 2 is nothing but 10 here so option d is perfect answer so 10 that is a given what is the x2 equal to come on tell me 10 into x1 but examiner is given what examiner is given what x2 equal to some t into x1 he is asking what is the t value t value is nothing but 10 only dear t is equal to he is asking t value t is nothing but 10 dear t is nothing but 10 okay this type of question you can expect from the signal flow graph now we will observe one more question yeah yes the signal flow graph diagram of a certain system is given it is nothing but construction of signal flow graph dear yes government job we are preparing for the polytechnic lecturer important concept is going on important concept from the important concept here yes from the construction of signal flow graph you may get the answer question here yes here yeah fine x2 equal to x2 at x2 equal to here observe at x2 equal to what signals are approaching here a1 into x1 a1 into x1 a1 into x1 correct a1 into x1 plus what is other signal is approaching here this signal also approaching plus a9 into x3 dear a9 into x3 correct so first statement is correct only dear first statement correct only dear first statement is correct only next coming to next to, i am moving to here yeah fine x3 at x3 at x3 a2 x2 a2 x2 a2 x2 correct next at x2 what what is the signal is approaching here this is a8 here a8 plus a8 dear now come on tell me a8 into x4 a8 into x4 correct only two signals are approaching so second also correct dear second also correct now third we will move to the third one x4 at x4 here mm, come on x4 signal x4 signal here yes at x4 what is the signals are approaching here a3 x4 a3 x4 correct a3 x4 at x4 yes yes a at x4 uh, a3 x3 correct a3 x3 is correct again uh, what is the signal is approaching here for this one a5 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 into x2 a5 into x2 correct but at this one one more signal is approaching a7 x4 self loop here so what is but here a7 x4 is missing here so actually x4 equal to what na x4 equal to what na at x4 what are the signals are approaching a3 x3 is reaching again a5 x2 is reaching one more signal this is a7 here a7 x4 is reaching to the x4 only plus a7 x4 here but in the given this is a missing this is a missing so third statement is wrong here third statement is wrong here third statement is wrong here now next i am moving to the next one now next one what is the next one here last one x5 at x5 what are the signals are approaching here at x5 a4 a4 into x4 a4 into x4 correct 
Again, A6 here, A6 is reaching with X2, A6, X2. So, this is also correct. So, best suitable option is a D is correct answer. D is correct answer. How many people given? I'll check the answer here. I'll check the answer here. Okay, nice. Yes, I'm checking your answers here. Very good, very good, very good. Mezad people, one, two, four. Bhushan Sai, you are giving very fast response. Very good here. Yes, I'm expecting from remaining people also. Yes, majority people are giving correct answers. Yes, good. Now, this is about the signal flow of here. Now, next we'll move to the time response here. In the time response, what happens in the time response, we'll discuss here. In the time response, there are two types here, transient response, steady state response. From the transient response, we'll expect the question, delay time, rise time, peak time, percentage of MP, peak overshoot, settling time, dear, settling time. Previous question, they're asking from the steady, uh, transient response, Settling times, from the settling time they're asking questions. And also, one more thing, what is the one more thing? Uh, second order system classification, Jita, based upon the Jita also questions are asking. From the steady state analysis, you know, steady state error, dear. Steady state error, very, very, very important topic. In the previous TSPSC paper analysis, many times the questions were given from the steady state errors. Steady state for unit step input, steady state for unit ramp input, steady state for unit parabolic input. Now I am selecting one question here. Okay. Yes, and the characteristic equation here, characteristic equation is given. Compare with the standard characteristic equation. What is the given characteristic equation? S square plus 2s plus 2d here. Standard characteristic equation is what? Standard characteristic equation S square 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Okay. Now tell me, dear, okay, omega n square. What is the question is asking? If the characters within the system is, is asking the system is omega n square equal what? Omega n square equal what? Come on, tell me. Omega n square equal to? Yes. 2. Omega n equal what, dear? Come on, tell me. Square root of 2. 1.414. Now, 2 zeta omega n equal 2. Zeta omega n equal what? Come on. Zeta omega n equal to 1 only. 2 zeta omega n, 2, 2 cancel. So, zeta equal, tell me dear, zeta equal to 1 by omega n, 1 by root 2, that is a 0 0.707, 0 0.707, it is a less than 1. Less than 1 means, okay, under damper system dear. Less than 1 means, under damper system dear. So, less than 1 means, what we can say, under damper system. Over damper means, zeta greater than 1. Critical damper means, zeta equal to 1. Undamper means, zeta equal to 0, okay. This is in between 0 less than, zeta less than 1 dear. And damper system. This type of questions are asking from the TSPSC. Previous papers are collected from the TS previous papers. Now these are questions are asking here. Okay, purely TSPSC related here. Yes, C must be the answer. Wow, correct, dear. Yes, correct. Mahinder Naidu. Yeah, correct, dear. Next, I am moving to the one more question here. One more question uh, in the chapter. Yes, second order system closed loop transfunction is given. The settling time, already just now we were discussing settling time is asking for 2 percent band tolerance. Now what is the settling time dear? No doubt at all. Settling time formula is what? Is settling time equal to? Settling time equal to 2 percent means 4 into t dear. t is nothing but 4 by zeta omega n. t equal to zeta omega n. I want zeta omega n dear. So 2 zeta omega n equal to 4 dear. Compare with the standard closed loop trans function, 2 zeta omega n equal to 4. Compare with the standard closed loop trans function dear. Omega n square by? S square 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square dear. So I want zeta omega n. That is the reason why zeta omega n dear. I want zeta omega n. Zeta omega n. 2 zeta omega n equal to 4 means zeta omega n equal to how much? 2 zeta omega n equal to? This is a 2. So zeta omega n equal to we got 2 dear. Zeta omega n equal to 2. So 4 by complete answer is 2. So 4 by 2 equal to 2 dear. Simple. If you know the concept, it is simple dear. So that is a settling time, dear. Settling time. From the settling time, we got this answer. Next, dear. Wow, good question. The differential equations is given. Is asking the output at steady state, dear. Okay, uh, represented by the waveform. The system now input and output. The output y of t is asking. The output wow, okay waveform. What could be the output waveform y of t? They given graphically. Now observe. First of all, try to remember this one. Try to remember. Now I am moving to the next options here. I am showing the options here. Yes, first try to remember this one question. Only equation. Now these are the options. Wow, good. 
So for the given question, which waveform is the best suitable here? Which waveform best suitable? Once again, I'm showing the question. Note down first this equation. Only this equation note down. Only note down this equation. Note down equation, then select the, by observation only we can tell the answer here. Come on. Note the, okay, yes, I'm checking. Once again, I'm moving to the next slide. Note down this question here. Only equation. Now select the, yes. Without touching pen and paper, we can tell the answer here. Come on. Try to give the answer. I'm checking. Yes. Yes, dear. Come on. Correct. Correct, Mahinder. Yes. Yes, very good. Now, I'm going to explain the concept also. Background, OK? Yes. Bhushan, yes, correct, dear. Sai, you are right. Now, yes, first thing, uh, what is a, apply the Laplace transform for this one, equation. So d square means we'll get what command term, s square, 100 into y of s, I'm writing common, minus 20 dy by ds means 20s, y of s I'm taking, I'm going to take the common, plus y, y okay, 1, product of y of s, dear, y of s, equal to x of s, apply Laplace transform. So what is a trans function equal to? Trans function equal to what, dear? Trans function equal to y by x. That is nothing but 100 by 100s square minus 20s plus 1. Whether you observe or not, for second order system stability, second order system stability, all this sign, this sign, this sign should be, all should be positive. But there is a sign change in the second order system. Because of sign change, the system is unstable here. The system is unstable here. Unstable means the output is unbounded output. Unstable means the output is unbounded here. Unbounded output will get. Output is unbounded output here. Output is unbounded. Unbounded means as time reaching to the infinity, output also reaches to the infinity here. Otherwise, you can use the RH method here. Otherwise, you can use the RH method also for uh, to comment the stability. To comment the stability. Now, okay, simple sign change means unstable. So unbounded output, which output is giving unbounded output here? This is reaching the bounded only. This is also bounded only, uh, settling. It is also bounded output. But as T reaches to the infinity, output also approaching to the infinity here. Like this, approaching to the infinity, unbounded output. Too. So unbounded output means unstable system, the given option is A is the suitable answer. A is the suitable answer here. Yes, once again, observe this question. Wow, beautiful question here, very beautiful question. Getting the right idea at right time is important. Yes, perfect. By seeing the psychologically, it looks like a dangerous question. Now, dangerous question. But if you know the concept of stability, so it is easy, dear. Now, next one, dear. Uh, yes. Is asking steady state error with respect to unit step, uh, unit ramp input, dear. Unit ramp input means so, what is the formula for unit ramp input here? For ramp input, for ramp input, what is the input is given for ramp input? So for ramp input, I'm writing here. For ramp, uh, what is a steady state error equal to? 1 by kV, dear. This is the equation number 1. Velocity error constant. What is a kV equal to? Limit s tends to 0 as product of g of s, h of s, dear. OK, g of s, h of s is given here. h of s is nothing but 1. No? Substitute here. That value substitute here. No doubt at all. You'll get the option A only. You'll get the option A only. Here, this one, you will get the infinity. 1 by infinity equal to what happened? Come on, tell me 1 by infinity equal to 0 only, dear. So perfect option is A is correct answer, dear. Steady state error from the time response chapter. Next, OK, fine. Next one. Yeah, dear. Next one, what happens here? Uh, next chapter, stability analysis. Stability analysis using RH method, dear. Stability analysis by using RH method, uh, what happens here? Yes. Now, the open loop system is given here. The open loop system is given. Now, yeah, fine. The allowable maximum value of k for the closed loop system remains stable is dear. So what is asking, expecting here? Uh, now, remain stable. Maximum value of k for stability means uh, we need to find the k marginal. k value for marginal. Maximum value means uh, marginal value we have to find. Marginal means so, that is a k marginal we have to find. k marginal means so, 
in the Rx method, complete row should be 0 here. Complete row should be 0. First, multiply this 3, multiply this 3, then find the characteristic equation procedure, find the characteristic equation, use the Rh method, Rahut Arvidj method. In the Rh method, one complete row should be 0 here. If you row 0, then what is the maximum value of Ke you will get? Maximum value of Ke here, no doubt you will get the option D, you will get D here. Option D, you will get here. Okay, this is a procedure. Characteristic equation you can write. Use the Rh method. One complete row should be 0. Then you will get the 70 is perfect answer here. Now, I am going to explain here. I am going to explain, listen. So, first thing here, yeah. Ks plus 13 is, uh, multiply this one. S, S square plus 10s plus 21. Now, k is plus 13 is upon s power 3, 10s square plus 21 is here. What is the characteristic equation? Anyone tell me characteristic equation equal to? Characteristic equation equal to s power 3, 1 plus g of s h of s formula, 1 plus g of s h of s formula, 10s square plus 21 is plus k is, small, okay, k is plus 13 k, this is a 13 k. K is plus 13 K dear. K is plus 13 K, constant value equal to 0. Now I am using here characteristic equation equal to S power 3. Now, okay, 10S square plus, take this common, K plus 21S plus 13 K dear. Is asking maximum value of K for stability means use the RH method or for marginal stability, internal product equal to external product dear external product. So, if you use the technique here, internal product take external product 10 into k plus 21 equal to 13 k. After solving, no doubt, k equal to 70 you will get dear. After solving, you will get the k equal to 70. Now, okay, yes dear. Yeah, correct dear. Yes, measured people got it. Very good, very good. Super. Now, next time moving to the yeah, this is a very important model here, k, maximum value of k. Indirectly, we got it, how to use the RH method, maximum value of k for stability means k marginal here. Yes, we'll go to the root locus here. In the root locus, consider the following statement regarding the root locus of a system. So, what are the statements here? So, four statements were given, once again. Breakaway points always occur on the negative real axis, one by one. Now, okay, you can see it. One subject this one. Okay, out of this one, what are the correct one? Which are wrong one? So one by one, we'll observe. Breakaway point always occur on the negative real axis. No, always the examiner using always here. Examiner doing, sorry, this is the word is, okay. Breakaway point always using word. Always real, no, no. Sometimes it is maybe complex conjugate also. Breakaway point, sometimes it may be complex conjugate also. Sometimes it may be complex also, dear. So this is the first statement is wrong, dear. About the root locus, first statement is wrong. Breakaway point always real is wrong. But centroid always real is correct. Centroid always real is correct. Yes, a point on the real axis on the root locus, if the total number of real poles and zeros to the right side of the point is even, no, it should be odd number, dear. If any point, any, okay, any point is on the root locus branch, some of the poles and zeros should be right side, should be odd number. Even number for inverse root locus, but is asking for root locus concept. Root locus, it should be odd number. So second statement also wrong, dear. The number of branches of root locus going to infinity. Infinity means so asymptote is asking. Asymptote. Asymptotes. Asymptotes means so n, n equal to p minus z, number of poles minus number of zeros. So the difference between the number of open loop poles and zeros, correct statement. n equal to p minus z, correct only. Infinity means so asymptotes. Last one, uh, the value of k on the root locus can be determined by using magnitude condition. Correct, dear. The value of system gain can be system gain can be calculated in the root locus by using magnitude condition here. There are two conditions: magnitude condition, angle condition. Angle condition is used to find the whether a point exists on the root locus or not. Where about the this magnitude condition used to find the value of k? Okay, it is also correct. So, what are the correct statements here? Now. Which of these statements are not correct here? One, two are not correct here. One, two are not correct. So option C is perfect answer here. Option C is perfect answer. 
no okay dear correct correct next we will move to the one more question here uh, one more question yeah if sc equal to j3 lies on the root locus the value of k of this point this is nothing but magnitude condition here magnitude condition so okay what is the correct answer now you can check magnitude condition simple what is a magnitude condition here magnitude condition magnitude of this value this value k upon s into s plus 1 product of s plus 9 equal to 1 at point is given what is the point is given at what point is given sc equal to j3 is given here sc equal to j3 is given sc equal to j3 is given okay j3 is given plus j3 so wherever s is a j3 find the magnitude square root of 1 square plus 3 square okay 9 9 square plus 3 square sc equal to 3 3 after finding you will get the k equal to no doubt after simplification 90 you will get here 90 you will get this is a magnitude condition here you may expect the question from the magnitude conditions good yeah okay for this question examiner is asking centroid comma uh, what is the centroid comma angle of asymptotes simple elimination option here how to find the centroid centroid equal to formula sum of poles minus sum of zeros upon number of poles minus number of zeros here so sum of poles 0 minus 2 minus 4 of minus of minus 1 by 3 minus 1 no doubt you will get what is the poles here poles are what come on, tell me poles are 0 minus 2 minus 4 0 is minus 1 now add this one minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus of minus 1 5 5 by 2 so you will get the 2.5 2.5 yes 3 options are there now what is the angle of asymptotes here angle of asymptotes is nothing but what is the number of poles number of poles here how many 1 2 3 number of zeros how many come on tell me 1 0 n equal how much 3 minus 1 2 whenever n equal to whenever n equal to the standard formula n equal to means n equal to means angle of asymptotes are 90 multiply with odd number next 3 270 here n equal 1 means angle of asymptote 180 n equal 2 means angle of asymptote 90 270 n equal 3 means 60 180 300 so 90 270 90 270 only one option is there so no doubt option c is perfect answer here this is about the angle of asymptotes here this is about angle of asymptote here okay similarly now yeah about the border plot we'll discuss about the border plot you'll expect the uh, inverse border plot here inverse border plot related inverse border plot related so inverse border plot means what we'll write transfer function equal to g of s h of s equal to initial slope is decreasing here initial slope is decreasing so minus this minus part i'm writing minus 20 minus means so there is a k term whenever minus is there the s term present in the denominator if there is no minus sign initially plus term this means s term should write in the numerator so what is s power this 40 we can write 20 into 2 so 20 into 2 means so this s is squared here s is square k by s is square is correct answer now how to find the that k value here how to find the value of k k value means so find the magnitude magnitude is omega equal to 0.1 equal to how much is given omega equal to 0.1 equal to 35 db dear by solving this one you will get the k value answered here by using magnitude condition yes dear now here again a uh, minimum pay system you know what is the minimum pay system here minimum pay system is nothing but all poles and zero should be right side here non minimum pay system means so yes all poles should be right left side one zero should be right side here but these two are the different location these two are the different location s equal to something minus one by t1 this is s equal to plus 1 by t2 t1 t2 but alpha system is what is the what is the alpha system means both pole is this side zero is this side but both are at the same location here symmetrical with respect to real axis symmetrical with respect to real axis that is called as alpha system here these two are this one this one look like same but they are maintaining the unequal distance but equal distance hence we call as a symmetrical with respect to real axis that is the alpha system here you may expect question from here also in part of topics we are discussing yes dear uh, okay fine uh, next to due to time okay due to time dear now yes i am moving here yes uh, due to time here okay fine some of the questions here the nyquist plot of a trans function is shown in the figure what is the gain margin from the nyquist plot uh, yes 
finding the gain margin here. Gain margin simple technique here, simple technique here. Whenever, actually what is the gain margin formula here? Gain margin formula equal to, gain margin formula equal to reciprocal of the magnitude at omega equal to omega pc here. Omega equal to omega pc. Find the omega pc then reciprocal of the magnitude, but it is a lengthy method. Simple technique here, where the, simple technique from where it is touching, from where it is touching, from year to year, the distance here, what is the distance is there? This point 0.2 is there. Simple technique here, reciprocal of this, what is the value is given here? What is the value is given that reciprocal? So, gain margin equal to here, uh, reciprocal of point 0.2. The original method is this one, but it takes a lot of time. So, after this one, what you will get answer here? So, you will get the point 5 here, correct answer. This one, different model. Yesterday, I already covered a YouTube session which are different as compared to yesterday, that question I am solving. Any question is redundant, I am not teaching here. So, which are different from the yesterday and which are the TSPSC previous polytechnic lecture questions. Yeah, simple gain margin, whatever the value is given, reciprocal here. Original method is, this is the original method. Okay, fine. These are from the Nyquist plot, you can expect. Yes, from the compensator here, lead, okay, uh, lag lead compensators. Yes, he is asking about lag lead compensator. It is similar to the PI controller, no dear. PI controller, PD, PD is similar to the lead. PI controller is similar to the only lag. It is the wrong option. It act as a lag lead, no, band pass filter. It is a lag, lead lag act as a band pass. No, no, it is wrong. It is a second order system with 102 poles, no dear. Lag lead is a two poles, two zeros. Lag lead is a two poles, two zeros. So, it is also wrong answer. It acts as a band reject filter here, band stop filter. Band pass means lead lag is a band pass, but lag lead is given band rejection filter. So, option D is perfect answer in the, from the compensator concept here. From the concept or compensator concept. Yes, uh, from the state space analysis, last chapter from the state space analysis here, dear. Uh, now, here observe, if you observe the direct line moving to the, uh, yes. Uh, Yes, the state equation of the system is given. The state equation of the system is given. Yes, here A matrix is given here. A matrix is given. The state transition matrix of the system is. State transition matrix of the system is. Now, okay, fine. Yes, these are the option. Very, very important model here. State transition matrix, I am going to explain here. What is the state transition matrix, sir? What is the state transition matrix here? State transition matrix equal to. State transition matrix equal to. E to the power of AT equal to formula L inverse of, so I am writing here L inverse of SI minus A inverse dear, SI minus A inverse, SI minus A inverse, this is a formula dear. By using this one, we can find the state transition matrix and one technique here, uh, yesterday, okay, some technique here. By using state transition matrix, we can eliminate at least one or two options here. At t equal to 0, you will get the identity matrix here. If you substitute t equal to 0, you will get the identity matrix. This is a technique. This is a regular formula. This is a technique here. Now, any elimination are there, one or two options we can eliminate. At t equal to 0, you will get the identity matrix. t equal to 0, 0 you are getting. 0 means identity matrix means what? What is the identity matrix? 1, 0, 0, 1. It should be like this format. But you are getting 0. No, wrong option. Now again t is 0 you are getting, it is a wrong option. t equal to 0, 1, 0, yes, 0, 1 format you are getting. Again it is also e power 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 you are getting. Both are in the race dear. Option C, option D, both are in the race. So simple, compulsory we have to use the formula now. By using this technique only we are eliminating two options. So we have to use compulsory formula dear. So by using this formula, by using this formula what we have to find? So, if you use this formula, you will get the no doubt here. Option D you will get here. Okay, option D you will get here. Yes. We will get the option D here. Yes, perfect. Option D, next to, yes, fine. In the chapter, what are the other important topics here? Controllability here, controllability. In the chapter, controllability, one more topic. Controllability formula here, we have to check MC equal to formula. B, A, B, sometimes they are asking directly question here. 
directly formula, directly formula dm is a controllability formula. Now, yes, for controllability delta of mc for controllability, for controllability delta of mc should not be 0, delta of mc not equal to 0 dm. Now, I am writing the observability, it is also most important topic here, controllability observability. Observability, what is the formula for observability here? M not equal to C transpose, A transpose, C transpose, A transpose square. Sometimes we are asked the only directly formula. Okay, same formula we can also write or there are two formulas are there. Oh, now, okay, fine. C, now C dear, C, again C A, C A square. <laughs> and so on. This is also one more formula. For observability, what we have to write? For observability, for observability, delta of m naught equal to 0. Delta of m naught not equal to 0 dear. If it is 0 means not observable. For observability, it should not be 0 dear. It should not be 0. Yes dear, within the stipulated time, actually yes. Yeah. Okay dear. Within the one hour, I covered maximum my level best. I covered maximum level best. Yes, dear, uh, you have to prepare all the topic, all chapter, what I have covered. Now, yesterday also, I covered some SPDCL dear, from that also, that is also TSPSC related. You can note down that questions also, very nicely covered. So, today and yesterday, if you cover both topic, almost all 90% important topics I covered here, 90 to 95% I covered. Okay, within two hours, it's covering all topics is very difficult, you can understand human. Now, yes, I covered maximum all topics here, prepare. Now, yes, before moving to the topic, first two, yes. Mode of classes in ACE Academy, dear. Mode of classes in ACE Academy. There is a classroom coaching is available, you know. And online live classes also available, dear. Yes, pre-recorded videos. And postal coaching also available, dear. Postal coaching means, so, now these are the books are, different books are available for electrical branches and yes, yes, these are the different, different publications here. Yeah, fine dear, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask me dear. Now these are my mail ID, these are my name, these are my mail ID dear. Now any doubts dear regarding the TSPSC control system or any, okay, any doubts re regarding the control system, feel free to ask, post the mail dear. Now, okay, fine. Now, any other videos you want to you want to learn the more subject here, you can available, you can search in the YouTube S S in the S Gnaneshwar Sir Control System and type the S also here. S type S S S Gnaneshwar Sir Control System. So you'll get the different different uh, concept, different different topics. So you'll get the different techniques here. Patience is required and note down all this one. Now, okay, dear. Yes, from my side only blessings are dear. Here. All my students will write the your exam or technique. You'll get the government job, dear. So, okay, God bless you, dear. Now I am ending the session.